Hello YouTube and welcome back to the channel Storm's Ghost here. There's a storm going on outside so hopefully it's not too loud in for background noise but today what I will be showing you is the building of the tower to the left. I wasn't sure whether I wanted to build a mage's tower, a uh, guild for sea captain but I settled on an apothecary. So let's hop into the show around and I'll be back right after. And we are back in front of the lighthouse here. Once again, if the noise is really loud, I do apologize. There is a storm going on, the noise, as we call it, up in Massachusetts in the U.S. If you're not from here, I'm not sure what a bad storm is called for you guys, but that's what we call it here. So, what I did, as you saw from the time lapse, is I built this tower over here um, and did this um, walkway to extend the um, dock area. I do plan on making another one of these bridges and making docks off of both of these. It's not really sure how I want to do that yet. But, um, yeah, the, um, so I haven't detailed this yet. So another way into the city is through this tower. I did the detail work after the time lapse. So right in here, is the way in um, to the city, a secondary entrance. I did not do what would be a warehouse in here. I wasn't sure how I wanted it to be, whether it would be another random warehouse that you saw below down over here, or whether it's a warehouse for the apothecary. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but it will be showcased in the next video. So. That's one way into the city, um, so let's come over here and I'll show you something pretty cool that I did with Chisel and Bit, the mod. I also did um, pixel art too, since it's in the pocket area I did a um, banner into the wall of the um, tower with a hourglass, well, not, not an hourglass, a potion bottle. And I was using the potion bottle variant that you get if you type in potion bottle to the uh, mod itself. So that was my idea for that. So then when people are walking by, they're like, oh, look, you can buy potions and medicines and poisons even here. So you come on in. And another thing I did with Chisel and Bits is this detail work on this stone right here. I might redo it to have it go all the way around because that little corner looks a little funny but it matches there so I'm not really sure if I really want to do that yet. Um, so let's go on into the first floor which is the shop. 
we do have a custom NPC here. Um, he is Draylus Dren. And with using custom NPCs, you can shop. So as you see, like, the 15 gold coins that you use. You can buy a potion of healing, flash potion of leaping, night vision. This isn't the final shop, but it's just an example. I just have to get out. But as you see in my inventory, I don't have any coins. Which says insufficient currency. So if I come in here and I type in gold coin, I'll just grab, grab, a, stack of, oops, grab a stack of them. And I will talk to him again. I don't think it matters where it is in my inventory. Yeah, it can even be up here, not even, don't even have to be holding on to it. But look, it says sufficient currency, so I can literally just pull a potion of health if I wanted to. Put it in there, a potion of leaping. Put that in, a potion of night vision. So now, when I um, use got all of those, I only have nine gold coins left. And it once again says in insufficient currency. So I thought that was a pretty cool feature to have to add into the game. Now we're just testing out the um, the um, shopkeeper type thing. So this is the potion shop here. I made these small tables, small chairs. I mean today, there's a variant one that doesn't have a seat cushion, and that's just a regular wood chair. And there's another one that just has a seat cushion, which you see right here. I also made a lectern too, like if you're buying a scroll, you can come over here and read it and put it down and yeah, I just thought I'd make a pretty cool lectern for like shoppers coming in and reading, maybe grab a scroll to look at recipes and give this guy money to make them or whatever. Not really sure if he would really make the uh, potions or just sell them, but um... Yeah, this is the shop which the um, customers can come into, but they can't come back here, which is the private residence. Um, so we'll come on up, and in the first room is just a study and a relaxation room. It has a um, chess table, and then in the second room is the small kitchen and a small eating area for the family. As you can see right here. And then we can come on up to the final floor, which is the bedroom. And this is where the family sleeps, obviously, in their private quarters. Another cool thing that I did with Chisel and Jits is this little NPC. Before I was using these, which is fine, it's using the mod itself. But I thought I'd use um, some of the um, blocks and turn it into end pieces for the bed. As well as um, chiseling down some of the plaster that I have here and adding on a wooden top for it to make it look like a table or a ledge or a whatever it is sit on or put if you see books here or candles on or whatever you need so yeah another short show around i've just been wanting to get more content out i've been feeling inspired to building so i just wanted to show you what i've done in here um added in some flower pot holders too so then we could put in hanging flower pots so we'll exit right on out and do another quick look around of the building. So, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a comment if you have any ideas for what I should build next, any feedback, any tips and tricks. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, because likes are very much appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed so you can stay up to date with my videos and postings. I do plan to be building more as I'm more inspired to keep building on this project. So until the next video, bye bye.